12 to 2004, had a 90% uh, amputation of my right leg, and recovered, went back to the board two times. About three years later, a teammate of mine, Jay Redmond, was severely wounded in combat in Iraq himself, and it was really through necessity that Woundedware was born. Jay had, over the course of uh, several months, or actually a couple of years, 37 surgeries. And while traveling across the United States for a variety of surgeries, he was constantly bombarded by gawks and stares and comments from people who had no idea why he was so disfigured. Jay decided he was going to push back, seize that moment, and, uh, and make a statement. So he started making some t-shirts that said things like, uh, what are you looking at? I was shot with a machine gun. It would have killed your dad. Something along those lines. Jay uh, was able to, to kind of grab hold of that energy, turn it around, do something positive with it, and he became empowered to start an organization that would do clothing modifications for veterans who were wounded similar to him and have slogans on them that were a little less biting but still fit with a wounded warrior. If you put your eyes skyward, you'll see that our jumpers are away. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about wounded wear some more, and then we'll talk about those individual jumpers as they demonstrate wounded wear jumping for a purpose. Wounded wear was founded by Jay and his wife in 2009. Their old mission was to raise national awareness of the sacrifice of wounded warriors, their families, and the families of fallen service members. In support of this mission, wounded wear advocated on behalf of and uh, advocated on behalf of facilitated facilitated opportunities for those who have sacrificed so much as both providing free fashionable clothing kits and modifications to wounded warriors and empower them to rediscover the hero within. Wounded Warrior's mission now has evolved into optimizing the potential of combat wounded warriors by mitigating the effects of trauma, expanding personal capabilities, and inspiring our heroes to find individual unique purpose to create the life that they want. That's their prize that Mission objectives are achieved through programs and opportunities that improve confidence, their power vector, offer balance and tranquility, which is their peace vector, mentorship, networking, and direction, their purpose vector. We partner with organizations which offer excellent resources, programs, and proven strategies for success. We also honor Gold Star family members with foundational giving and opportunities to participate in events with our heroes. Another Wounded Warrior mission is to provide clothing modifications and a unique line of apparel available only to Purple Heart recipients and the Gold Star family members. The pillars of the new mission rest upon pride, power, purpose, peace. Let me tell you a little bit about these that you see that are jumping in. They're being tandem jumped in by members from Skydive Suffolk. Corporal Tyler Southern joined the Marine Corps in 2007 at age 17. He was attached to the 1st Battalion, 2nd Marines, where he deployed to Iraq and then to Afghanistan. On May 5, 2010, he stepped on the pressure plate of a 10-pound victim-operated IED, resulting in the loss of three limbs. After two and a half years recovering at Bethesda Naval Hospital, he medically retired on September 21st, 2012. On July 9th, 2011, he married his best friend Ashley and they welcomed their first son, Damon Cole, in January 2014. Tyler currently serves as the Wounded Warrior Ambassador for Wounded Wear and shares his personal experience as a Wounded Warrior on a weekly blog, Nub Life. In July, he was named one of Jacksonville, Florida's top 30 under 30 an award given to future leaders under the age of 30 years old. Tyler consistently serves as a position, a positive example for other warriors that it is possible to live a full and happy life despite having life-changing injuries. He was also a recipient of the 2014 American Center of Plastic Surgeon Patients of Courage Award. Our second jumper is Corporal Sean Lopez. Joined the Marine Corps in 2007 and deployed in 2008, 2009, and 2010. While on deployment in support of Operation During Freedom, his mounted convoy vehicle was struck by an IED, detonating directly underneath him. The IED strike caused severe damage to his back and legs, along with a grade 3 concussion and ruptured tendons in both legs and in his right shoulder. 
Sean now lives with an implanted spinal cord stimulator and has been has had reconstructed surgery on his right shoulder. He also suffers from PTSD, TBI, and struggles with survivor guilt. After being medically retired in March 2012, he now works as a government contractor for Loyola Enterprises, Inc., in support of the Joint Staff J7 South in Suffolk, Virginia. He is an instructor controller and helped create the Joint Staff J7 Wounded Warrior Intern Program. Sean is proud to spread the word on Wounded Warrior awareness to others and assist warriors with the transition to their new chapter of civilian life. HM3 Jeremiah Harrell enlisted in the Navy in 2005 and became a Fleet Marine Force Corpsman. His first deployment to Iraq lasted 16 months. While in Iraq, the injuries he sustained included six separate IED blasts while patrolling and or during convoys. Two gunshot wounds, one injuring the lower left leg and the other to the chest. In 2008, he volunteered to deploy with his new infantry battalion to Afghanistan. The wounds he sustained in Afghanistan included three additional IED detonations and the injury that ultimately retired him from service. He was patrolling on a two-story rooftop on Monday, May 23rd, 2009, when he was struck in the right leg by a rocket which did not detonate. It struck his right leg, broke it in two places, and knocked him from the rooftop. In the fall, his head made contact with a concrete wall, causing a third-degree concussion. He patrolled on a broken leg for an additional two weeks, refusing to leave the Marines without a corpsman. He returned to Camp Lejeune in June of 2009, where he underwent surgery on his injured leg in September. In January 2010, he was transferred to Naval Hospital Camp Lejeune, starting the med board process and to continue rehabilitation of his injury. On October 28th of 2011, he was medically retired from service, resides in North Carolina, and is now enjoying time with his wife, Carissa, and their five children. He currently attends school for graphic design and hopes to use his skills to help other wounded warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, put your hands together for our three wounded warriors representing wounded wear.